Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, this is question number five from the International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4, January 2021 session. Um, this question is about integration using substitution. It's very clearly mentioned in the question that we should not use our calculator to solve this problem. Of course, we can use our calculator to check this problem. If I stick this value, these, if I if I put this in my calculator, it will be able to find the solution to this, but maybe not in the form they want. But the it will tell me the value of this, which could help us to check to see if we got the right answer in the end. But we have to show the you know fact that we've used integration by substitution. Otherwise, we'll get zero marks even if we write down the right answer. So now says using the substitution u equals 3 plus the square root of 2x minus 1 find the exact value of this integral between 1 and 13 of 4 over 3 plus root 2x minus 1 with respect to x giving your answer in the form p plus q lin 2 where p and q are integers to be found so i have to express it in this form with lin 2 in the end now integration by substitution um, there's different ways that people do it okay I find by far the easiest way is the following way and you'll see how easy it makes everything become. So we have to keep into in, in mind the objective. The objective is, is, is to integrate this function with respect to x. I'm going to say let's call this function y equals 4 over 3 plus the square root of 2x minus 1. That's what I'm going to call y. So what we're trying to do here is integrate y with respect to x between these two limits between these two limits and th that will give us the basically the area under the graph between those two limits now that's our objective okay but they gave us a, a substitution to use in terms of u so what we can do here when they give you a substitution in terms of u or theta or t or whatever it is what you can do is you can rewrite this as the integral of y with respect to uh, sorry y with respect to x or so y dx but i'm going to write this as dx du du you can kind of think about these two cancelling out to give you the same thing as that now this is in terms of the x values say x1 and x2 now this what i have to do is i have to take this expression and because it says du i have to express everything in terms of u including the limits so everything has to be expressed in terms of u. So even the y has to be expressed in terms of u, which is not too difficult to do because we say u is equal to 3 plus the square root of 2x minus 1. And we can replace the 3 plus 2x min root 2x minus 1 with the u. So this is going to become, so we can see from here that you know y is going to be 4 over u. So I know I can replace the y with 4 over u. Okay, I can replace the y with 4 over u. So I've got here, y is 4 over u. So I've got that part done. Now I've got to find what dx du is in terms of u. So first of all, let's write down what they gave us. u equals 3 plus the square root of 2x minus 1. Now what I could do is I could find du dx and then write the reciprocal. But that's going to give me something really complicated because I've got here... 2x minus 1 to the power of half to integrate to differentiate that I'm going to have to use uh, integration uh, sorry differentiation using the chain rule I mean it's possible and it will give me an answer which will probably be perfectly fine okay um I mean I could show you let's 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 do it let's see the dx is going to be three well not three because the three goes away okay this is like 2x to the power or 2x minus 1 to the power of half so you'll have a half times 2x minus 1 and then you multiply by the differential what's inside the function which is 2 so you'll have du dx is going to be given by 2x minus 1 and then we want to find it in terms of x so we'll have to replace the x it's going to be it's going to be a hassle we'll have to then um, make x a subject of this and then replace the x with that it's going to it's going to cause it's going to cause um, you know a bit more hassle so i'm going to do this in a different way 
This is going to make, make life a lot more difficult. I'm going to make life easy for myself. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say, okay, let me make this on its own, like get rid of this three from here. So I've got u minus three equals the square root of two x minus one. Now, if I square both sides here, I won't have to worry about this three over there. I can just square both of these sides. This is going to become something which is simple, like u squared minus six u plus nine. Okay, if I, it's like squaring the bracket. Okay, and if I square this, I'm going to get just two x minus one. Now, if I make my x the subject, I have to add one to both sides. So I'll have u squared um, minus six u plus 10 equals two x. And if I now make x the subject by dividing by two, I'll have x equals a half u squared minus three u plus five. So I can find the x to u quite easily here. So the x to u is going to be here two times a half, which is one. So that's u minus three. Okay, so that is the x du. So I can now replace the dx, um, the x du here. The dx du is going to be replaced by u minus three. Then I've got my du at the end. And now what remains is for me to change the limits. I want to change the limits in terms of u. And I can do that by saying when x equals 13, u is going to be 3 plus the square root of 2 times 13, which is 26 minus 1, which is 25. So that's 3 plus the square root of 25, 3 plus 5, which is 8. So my the, the 13 is going to become an 8 here. And when x equals 1, u is 3 plus the square root of... 2 minus 1, which is 1, so it's 3 plus 1, which is 4. Square root of 1 is 1, so 3 plus 1, which is 4. So now I have got almost what I need. I can write that 4 outside here. And I can write this as u minus 3 over u. And I've got the limits of 8 and 4. I want to integrate that with respect to u. Now, to do that, I'll just carry on down here. To integrate that with respect to u, I need to expect, uh, kind of like um, separate this into two separate fractions. Okay, I can separate this into two separate fractions, um, and it's very easy to do. It's like u over u minus 3 over u. Just write them under the separate denominator. So you've got 4, and you've got the limits between 8 and 4. And I'm going to have u over u, which is 1, minus 3 over u, which is 3 over u. And I want to integrate that with respect to u. Now I can integrate that quite easily. I have 4. Now I change this to a square bracket instead of an integral sign. Integral of 1 is u. The integral of minus 3 over u is minus 3 times the lin of the modulus of u. And I'm going to put the limits on this side, 8, 4. So now all I have to do is substitute these values into here and hopefully we'll get an answer in the form that they require. So we're going to have 4 times. I'm going to first put the 8 into here. So it will be 8 minus 3 lin, the modulus of 8, which is, I don't have to put the modulus because the modulus of 8 is positive. I don't have to put the modulus here anymore now, once I know that that's a positive number. Then I have minus, and then I'm going to put here, let me just put this separately for now. I'll have 4 into here, that's 4 minus 3 times the lin of 4. Okay. Now I'm almost there. I'll keep that 4 out for now. This is going to be 8 minus 4, which is 4. I have minus 3 lin 8 plus 3 lin 4. Okay, now, remember, I remember it said here, we have got to have q lin 2. So I don't want lin 8, I don't want lin 4. I have to change them into lin 2, which is very easy to do because 8 is the same as 2 cubed. And 4 is the same as 2 squared. So I can write this as 4 times. I've got 4 minus. This is 3 lin 2 cubed plus 3 lin 2 squared. Now I can use the power law. So I have 4 times. I've got 4. Now the power law, this is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. So I have minus 9 lin 2. And I have 2 times 3, which is going to be 6. So I'll have um, plus 
6 lin 2. Okay, so this will give me 4 times 4 minus 3 lin 2 because 9 minus 9 plus 6 it's minus 9 of something plus 6 of the same thing like terms so that's minus 3 lin 2 and now I can multiply by that 4 outside I'm going to get 16 minus 4 times 3 which is 12 lin 2 and there is my answer to the question in the form required p plus q lin 2 where p and q are integers to be found so you could if you want you could say that means p is 16 and q is equal to how do they ask us to write it was it plus or minus plus that means p is going to be minus 12. okay so those are the values of p and q that is the expression in the form required and as i mentioned in the beginning we can check to see if the calculator will give us the same answer